begin your day expecting good. Sometimes when you've already been through a series of disappointments, you can get in the habit of expecting more of what you already had. Or sometimes, you just think that if you don't expect anything good to happen, then you won't be disappointed when it doesn't. But this isn't how God wants us to live. Fear is the opposite of faith, and it takes faith to accept anything good in our lives. You must know that the enemy can cause you to have a fear of something bad happening when nothing is actually going wrong. Never forget that the devil is a liar. In fact, John 8 verse 44 also tells us that he is the father of lies. The devil wants you to expect something bad and become fearful. Then, when we become fearful it may open the doors to worry, anxiety, depression, and other negative responses and emotions. That's one way how the devil tries to steal our peace and joy. But the scripture tells us in Psalm 112, verses 7 and 8, they do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They are confident and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. Our Heavenly Father is saying to you today, trust in Him and expect good things to happen in your life. You should wake up every day expecting good. Keep your thoughts and mind positive, full of joy, full of hope, and full of anticipation of all the good things that God has in store for you. God is good and God loves you. When you have good expectations, you will have access to the Lord's abundant provisions for you. When you expect good things, you open the door to God's plans. Expecting good has a mysterious way of causing all the stress, worries, negative emotions and anxieties to fade away. So whatever your circumstances are today, start the day expecting good and to see his provision flow in your life. The Bible tells us in Exodus 14 verse 13, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. God is working in your life right now. Today is your day to start believing that something good is going to happen to you. Every day, get up from your bed, stand in front of your mirror, and boldly declare this to yourself. God is good, and something good is going to happen to me today. Now, to everyone within the sound of my voice, let us pray this short and powerful prayer. Lord God, I praise you this day. I ask for your forgiveness as I forgive others. I thank you for your grace and mercies. I thank you for life and hope. I decree and declare that all things will work together for my good. I am healthy, I am protected, and I am happy in Jesus' name. I am the disciple whom Jesus loves. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I have the joy and peace of God which passes all understanding. Everything I do and touch shall be blessed. The Lord's wisdom, favor, and provision flows mightily in me and through me. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Inspirational Grace is a channel of faith, prayer, and inspiration. We post videos that will inspire and encourage. And together we declare that, in the name of Jesus, the faith, hope, and love of God will rise up in you. Praise God. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and to help us spread the gospel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you will be the first to be notified when we post new videos. Also, we love testimonies and stories of inspiration. So, go right ahead and share your story with us in the comments section below. You are blessed to be a blessing. But I want you to know that there is no distance in prayer. 
There are no geographical barriers that prayer can't go through. There are no rooms that can be sealed off that prayer can't, can't go through. 